What's up everyone, happy Monday. So most of the time I used to do these videos live on Mondays, but sometimes when I'm kind of overwhelmed with MIC questions or overwhelmed with other things, I wanna kind of be able to come on here and kind of make this pre-recorded style video. I'm recording this video around 12 p.m. market time on Monday. So going forward, if I don't have time to do it live, I'm gonna make these videos and then repost it. So. Wow, where do I begin? So there's a lot of things to talk about. So we're gonna be talking about naked shorting and we're gonna be talking about my small account challenge and we're gonna be talking about the market moving this year, which is insane, okay? So first things first is let's start off by talking about my small account update. So as you guys know, we've been in about a bear market recession for about 13 months now. So for about over a year, the market has just been straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. And oftentimes, you know, as a short bias trader, when the market is crashing, all the regular people out there are like, aren't you making so much money shorting the market? Aren't you making so much money shorting the market? And the reality is, guys, that in a recession, in a bear market, when stocks are going down, it is very hard for both long buys and short buys to make money. Now, the reason why is this. In a bull market, stocks go from like $5 to $50. So there's so much room for the stock to go down. Whereas in a bear market, stocks go from like five to $6. So there's not much room for the stocks to go down. So as a short seller, an aggressive bull market is very, very good for us because the moves are so extended. They're so extended to the upside, they'll be extended to the downside. If the moves are contracting, they're gonna stay contracting, right? So. We've been in a bear market and it's been very, very crazy, but something has changed in January. So what I would say has been happening in January is the market has been signaling that, you know what, this recession, this bear market, it might be slowly coming to an end. Now, why is that? So when we're in a recession or we're in a downtrending market, people pull out money out of stocks out of speculative assets, out of everything that, so they'll pull money out of stocks, they'll pull money out of Bitcoin, and they'll sell their watches, right? Because at that point, when everyone is panicking, when everyone is fearful, they're not trying to put their money to work. They're trying to take their money and put it in the bank and save it, okay? They're trying to take that money and save it because God knows what's gonna happen. So during 2022, we've seen every type of asset decline in value. We've seen a decline in value because people are taking that money and putting it to their savings. What we've been seeing in January is something that is very, very different. In January, we've been seeing risk on assets like stocks, like crypto, and like watches start to rebound. They start to rebound because now the speculation is that the Federal Reserve is no longer going to raise interest rates. They're either going to keep them flat or they're gonna to start to slowly lower them by the end of the year. Now, the way that the, the market works is it's future seeing, right? The prices that you're seeing now in the stock market are based on the future outcome of the world. So although the stocks are starting to rebound today, that is probably pricing in a difference in Federal Reserve policy in six months to 12 months, okay? So what we've been seeing is we've been seeing Bitcoin rebounding 30%. We're seeing watches rebound 30%. We're seeing the stock market rebound 20 to 30%. So this is telling me that at least temporarily, it seems like we have a short-term bottom in the stock market. What that creates is now that creates opportunity for us, right? So in January, we have had the most small cap runners that we have had in one month more of that in one month than we've had in the last six months combined. So what this is telling me is that speculation money is re-entering the market, right? We make money when people speculate, right? As a short bias trader, as a short bias trader, I make money when stocks go down. So I understand how shorting works is when we get these exaggerated moves like we're getting now, that is the best opportunity to clean up in the stock market. So, just as an update, uh, as some of you guys know, I started a small account challenge this year. I started a $35,000 account to see how far I could get it by the end of the year. And I am happy to report that I am up way, 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 way big on that account. So if you guys go up to my, if you guys go to Instagram.com slash my investing club, I post my daily profit and loss. 
every single day. Today was actually a $16,000 day on GNS, and I posted that on Instagram. So if you guys wanna see my daily P&Ls from now until when I started at the beginning of the year, you're gonna be blown away by how much money I made. And I don't wanna kind of reveal it now because I don't wanna jinx myself, but you guys could go and check that. It is well, well, well over into the six figures. So that's kind of where that small account challenge is. I post my daily profits on Instagram. I post my daily profits on Twitter. And sometimes I even post my charts. So that's that. So the market is heating up. Um, this has been the best January that I've had in years. This has been the biggest January that I've had in years. And I just feel overall very happy and very blessed to be trading so well. I'm very focused, I'm very zoned in, and the opportunities are there. What I've been seeing that's been working really, really well in this market is stock selection. So as a trader, you need to understand that there's 8,000 stocks moving every single day. Your job as a trader is to narrow down the top opportunities of the day and then attack on those opportunities. So for me, I found that there's certain stocks that fit my criteria better than other stocks. There are certain stocks that scare the hell out of me. So I'm avoiding the scary stocks. I'm sizing into the big stocks. And that is leading to an awesome, awesome, awesome year to start. You know, if this action continues, it might potentially be my best year ever. So I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to push. I'm just going to focus on my day-to-day -day action and the rest will follow. So yeah. Now, let me talk about the naked shorting that has been going on. So over this past week, I would say that we've had a very new uh, catalyst that is moving stocks, right? And that catalyst has been naked shorting. So a lot of these CEOs have been coming out for these garbage companies and saying, we're going to fight against the naked shorts. The naked shorts are destroying our stock. You know, there's 100 million shares naked shorts, blah, blah, blah. And what you have to realize, guys, and I know that there's going to be a lot of people that, you know, hate on this or they don't understand it, is the reason why these CEOs are saying naked shorts are building all this hype is because they want people to trade their stock. They want people to buy their stock thinking that the naked shorts are some is evil entity, when in reality, they are dumping shares. So the way the stock market is designed, guys, is uh, you as a investor, give the company money, give them, you buy their stock, you give them money, and in exchange, they give you a piece of that company, okay? Now, the stock market is designed for these companies to raise money. So what that means is a lot of, what that means, a lot of these companies take your money and they use it for research and development, they use it for payroll, they use it for the salary, they use it for their private jets. Now, what you have to realize is I would say 90% of stocks under $5 are a scam. Their entire business model is to take your money and use it for their own gain. Not to help the company financially, but to fund their private jets, to fund their yachts, to fund everything. The stock market is rigged. The stock market is a scam. So if you fall for the scam that there's Nikki Shorts and you got to buy the stock because of X, Y, and Z, you are falling into their scam. A lot of these companies have something called dilution. Dilution means that they could sell shares in the open market to raise money. So for example, the stock market moves on supply and demand. If there is high demand and low supply, the price goes up. If there is low demand and high supply, price goes down. So what these CEOs are doing is they are being crooked. They are pumping their stocks up. They are trying to convince you, the uneducated investor, the uneducated trader, that there's some massive plot against the naked short sellers because that's what happened on AMC and that's what happened on GameStop. But the reality is their job as a company is to sell stock to raise cash. So now when these CEOs are saying naked shorts, naked shorts, naked shorts, while you're buying their stock, they are selling shares to dump their stock. The insiders, the CEO, the CFO, they're all dumping their stock. Now that creates elevated supply on the stock. So there's more supply, less demand, the price shoots down. So that's kind of what's been happening on GNS. That's what's been happening on HLBZ. So if you are a new trader, long bias or short bias, understand that these companies under $5 are a scam. 
That is why I trade them. That is why we have an edge on them. That is why we focus on them. So ignore this naked shorting BS. Ignore all the stuff that the CEOs are telling you. The CEOs are not your friends. The CEO's job is to make as much money as possible. And the thing that you have to remember is a lot of this stuff is regulated by the SEC. So what that means is a lot of these CEOs, they don't understand that they are manipulating their own stock. So that's what's gonna happen, guys. Eventually, these guys are all gonna go to jail. You never wanna be a part of a company or a stock that is manipulating their stock, right? A company like Apple, the most valuable company in the world, worth $2 trillion, is not once talking about naked shorts, not once talking about that stuff. And remember, AMC and GameStop, they were talking about naked shorts, naked shorts. Those stocks are down 95%, guys, 95%. So the key that you have to understand is there's certain strategies. There's certain things in this stock market that are fluff. They're fake. Fugazi is not real. So this is just an example. Anytime you see naked short, naked short, naked short, naked short, you should, as a professional trader, start to think, what is their agenda behind this? Are they saying this so that they could dump shares, right? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, these CEOs, these companies, they do not care about you. You are just a tool to give them money. So now, as a short bias trader, knowing this information, that gives me an edge. That allows me to bet against these crooked CEOs. And that allows me to make $16,000 in a day like I did today. And I'll attach my profit and loss in the uh, description of the video. So do you guys have any questions on that? And I understand you guys may think I'm a fraud, I'm a con artist, I'm this, I'm that. But if you go to our website, myinvestingclub.com, you can see my verified broker statements on there to prove that this strategy works, right? And in addition, what we do is we have a free mentorship course. So if this sounds interesting, if this makes sense to you and you want to learn more about this strategy, all you have to do is go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar and you're going to be enrolled into our free one hour day trading course where I show you my strategies, I show you a live trade and I show you how you could find these crooked companies, find these crooked stocks and make money betting against these crooked people. So. I hope this video helps you guys. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. I want you to understand that these CEOs are not on your team. They are not your friends. Their job is to raise money. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment in the video. I am the one that personally responds to all the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.